what is up everyone i hope you're doing amazing i hope you're doing well welcome back to the channel guys and if you're new i'm your main man just jack so welcome back to the second episode of the mini mental health series that i'm currently doing on my channel today's mental health i'm going to be discussing is attention deficit hyperactive disorder adhd for sure oh so adhd is the most commonly diagnosed mental health problem it's mostly common in younger children and it affects adults as well. I was diagnosed with ADD in year five. I was about 10 years old when I got diagnosed with ADD, which is attention deficit disorder. So in America, I think it's called elementary school and here in the UK, we call it primary school. I was in year five primary school and when I got diagnosed with ADD, which like I said, it's attention deficit disorder. It ties down to ADHD. So basically I got diagnosed with ADHD if that makes any sense, which like I said, ADHD is attention deficit hyperactive disorder. And just like the first episode, I'm gonna be answering a few questions that I get asked a lot. So the first question I get asked is, does ADHD go away on its own or does ADHD go away? Very good question. ADHD is outgrown, but it's very important to understand that ADHD is a lifelong problem. But sometimes the symptoms aren't even diagnosed as ADHD until adulthood. So that answers that question. Let's move on to the second question I get asked. Is ADHD classified as a mental illness? Attention deficit hyperactive disorder, also known as ADHD, is a mental illness. It affects the way you think, you act and focus, you fidget a lot. Some people believe that ADHD is caused by parents not giving their kids as much discipline, which is far from the truth. ADHD is a mental illness. Hyperactiveness, so you're very hyperactive, you're always wanting centre of attention, you interrupt a lot. Like So say if you're in primary school, this is coming from my personal experience. So I'm playing a game, I wouldn't really ask, I would just jump straight in, or I would do something where everyone would look at me and I can admit it, cause I don't, I don't know why I'm admitting it, but this is from my personal experience. But ADHD, again, affects the way you behave. So I was a very, very, very hyperactive kid and even now I'm quite hyperactive and I would get really angry a lot. People think that it's just about people getting angry basically, but it can even affect adults through the way, like I said, through the way you think and act and focus. You fidget a lot, you move around a lot, you want in the center of attention. And the next question I don't really get asked, but it is a question that does get asked. Is ADHD on the autism spectrum? Most children on the autism spectrum do have symptoms of ADHD so yeah I guess it's difficult settling down and the social awkwardness the ability to focus on only the things that they're interested in basically now ADHD itself like I said attention deficit hyperactive disorder is a behavioral disorder that includes symptoms such as intensiveness hyperactivity and impulsiveness symptoms of ADHD tend to be noticed at an early age and may become more frequent into adulthood. So that's it for the questions. But like I said, ADHD is the most commonly known diagnosis of young children and it can continue into adulthood. This is coming from my personal experience now. With ADHD, it's not really um, affecting me too much. It's just, I do get hyper though, a lot. And as a child, even now though, I'm not allowed to drink any energy drinks. Literally the only energy drink I drink is that monster, the sugar-free one. But that doesn't really affect me. I used to obviously not listen at all. And I used to go get an energy drink and drink it. And then that would be the worst thing I could do because I would drive everyone up the wall. I was a very, very, very hyperactive kid. And even now I'm sometimes I have my silly moments and Kelly just looks at me very weird and like, are you okay? Sorry for uh, going off topic. I tried this American drink called Moose Juice 
And I don't think it sort of would move very well. I was really hyper making weird noises and Kelly was wishing that I would just shut the hell up. But yeah, I do have my silly moments. I do get still hyper. But also as a kid from my personal experience, I was very um, creative. Like I would make robots out of, obviously they couldn't walk or talk or anything, but I would make robots using batteries and old uh, controllers um, like for the Xbox. Fun fact actually, I had a channel ages and ages and ages ago, which is no longer on YouTube. It was called Solo Soldier 123. So don't go try looking for it because it's no longer on there. And on that channel, I used to build weapons and I used to call it my homemade weapon collection. So I was very creative as a kid. But like I said, ADHD has not affected me. The only way it's affected me is the way I think basically, and the way I act and focus. With ADHD, it did not affect me too much. I have, obviously, behavioural problems where I do get slight angry at the little... No, I don't. I get really angry at the slightest things. Basically, I get angry that little bit quicker than an average person would. But that's ADHD for you guys. Attention deficit, hyperactive disorder. There's not too much to say on this, apart from, like I said, it is one of the most commonly diagnosed mental health problems and it is a long-term mental illness. It does not go away on its own, but it can be controlled by even medication or it can be calmed down as you're growing up into adult life. ADD, attention deficit disorder, and ADHD, attention deficit hyperactive disorder, tie as one. So ADD is basically ADHD. It affects the way you focus, the way you think, the way you act, your hyper, hyperness. Is it hyperness? Hyperactivity. Hyperactivity. Hyperness. I don't even know if that's a real word. Hyperactivity. Alright, so I left the important information out about the ADHD. I was put on medication for my ADHD. I had three in the morning, one in the afternoon, and two of the night time. But because I got diagnosed with psychosis and I got put on medication for psychosis, I was no longer allowed to take medication for my ADHD, forgot to add that into the video, so I'm adding it in now. Just like I said in my last video, if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me, feel free, go ahead. I'm not trying to do this for a cheeky plug, but ask me on my Instagram, which is down in the description below. If you do want to talk to me about anything, such as mental health problems, feel free to go and ask. And if you want me to make a video on it, I will do, but I will not mention any of your names if you don't want me to. And if you do want me to make a video on it, it'd probably be on the last video on the series that I'm currently doing on the channel. And with that said, guys, I hope you're doing amazing. I hope you're doing well. I've gained two subscribers today, which is absolutely amazing for me so thank you so much for the new subscribers smoky steve driven industries i appreciate it thank you very much for subscribing to me it means a lot and it helped me along my journey of 500 subscribers this is my second episode of the mini series that i'm currently doing so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you get a better understanding of what adhd is and i hope i answered a few guys questions if i didn't i apologize but you can always ask me on my instagram and i'll get back to you and let you guys know more about ADHD or any other mental illness. Me and Kelly are doing a vlog on Valentine's Day, which is the 14th of February. So I hope you all have an amazing Valentine's Day. And I will see you in the next episode of the mini series, what I'm currently doing on mental health. And the next episode is gonna be on Asperger's syndrome, which is the autism I have. So I will see you guys in the third episode. Stay tuned to the channel guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit that little notification bell as it literally lives just next to the subscribe button. While you're there you might as well hit that like button, it, I would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I was going to dab but I didn't want to do it. I'll see, I'll see you later guys. <laughs>